Interesting story I found out of Interesting Engineering. Love this site. China reverse engineers the most advanced chip-making machine in the world. EUV lithurgy machines build the most advanced chips in the world. Only one company currently operates them. So China has reverse engineered this. Well, this comes on the heel the exact same day I'd read another article involving the Chinese chip industry. But let's go a little bit into this. China's semiconductor industry has reached an important milestone with its reports claiming that it has built the first extreme ultraviolet prototype. EUV lithurgy is a complex secretive manufacturing process that produces the mo world's most advanced chips. Only one company in the world, Dutch firm ASML, is capable of harnessing this process. The U.S. has desperately tried to keep this technology out of China's hands. Now, though, new reports claim China has its first domestic prototype of the state-of-the-art chip-making machine. China's new EUV prototype. To date, EUV lithurgy machines have been made by only one single firm, ASML in the Netherlands. For several years, though, China has been pushing towards an EUV breakthrough. According to a report by WCC Fetch Tech, Chinese companies such as Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation have been attempting to replicate the ASML's technology by poaching talent and reverse engineering parts. Now, a Reuters, Reuters report reveals that China has finally made a breakthrough. The nation has developed its own EUV lithurgy prototype. According to the report, China has relied on old ASML parts for its breakthrough. ASML has previously sued a former Chinese engineer for stealing trade secrets, winning an $845 million judgment in 2019. Good luck on collecting any of that. I'm sure he's sitting pretty well in some Chinese city now, and they'll never extradite him, and a hero of the People's Republic. The emergence of new technology means China has advanced farther than experts expected. In April, ASML CEO Christopher Fouquet said China would need many, many years to develop this kind of technology. How do EUV lithurgy machines work? EUV lithurgy machines were built on decades of global research. These machines train an po incredibly powerful laser beam on a tiny droplet of molten tin. This, this leads to an explosion that creates a massive burst of ultraviolet light, which is funneled onto a wafer of silicon. This allows the team at ASML to etch circuits as fine as a strand of DNA. You can see why this is such coveted technology. As fine as a strand of DNA. Incredible. Until now, only ASML has been able to build the machines capable of making the state-of-the-art chip. According to the company's website, it invested more than 6 billion euros or approximately $7.29 billion in EUV research and development over 17 years. Though China has made an important breakthrough, it isn't producing EUV chips yet according to the Reuters report. However, sources claim the nation is now aiming to make EUV mainstream by 2030. With the ongoing AI boom, the U.S. and China are racing to bolster their chip-making capabilities. In China, Huawei is building a network of facilities in collaboration with SMIC. In the U.S., the 2022 Chips and Science Act authorized an approximately $280 billion in new funding to revitalize domestic semiconductor manufacturing. And it has to be done. It has to be done because China has a, a singular mindset when it comes to the chip manufacturing. This article is from the exact same day. In the shadow of U.S. export controls, China relies on its own chip industry. And this, goes, this article goes through an expo in China. And like most expos, they offer the biggest and the brightest and the best that you know, China has to offer. And the article 
talks about the chip building industry. It's building up through the years in China and where it stands today. And in the article, you know, it does state that their current chips are not on par with chips from the West. But I'm sure they didn't have any information when they published this article about the one I just went through. But I do want to point out one thing here that is at the end of this article about the uh, Chinese technology fair. Chris Miller, author of the book Chip War, The Fight for the World's Most Critical Technology and professor at Tufts University is skeptical. Private companies in China might like to buy American chips, but the government has maintained its focus on its longer term priority. The Chinese government is dead set on trying to build its own chip ecosystem, which has been trying to do for over a decade, he said. We've seen the Chinese government over the last six months tell Chinese tech companies that they cannot buy certain types of U.S. chips because they want these companies to build out the Chinese ecosystem, Miller continued. I think this shows that even if we want China to stay addicted to our chips, the reality is that China is trying to find its own sources and doesn't rely on U.S. supply chains. David Sachs, a Chinese spe China specialist at the Council of Foreign Relations, said whatever Trump's rationale may be for offering China H-200 chips, it carries a strategic risk. If you believe that AI is going to change the economic Econo econ economies and potentially even change the way of warfare, he said. Why give your chief rival the tools that it needs to potentially beat you in that race? In this article, it doesn't go in depth into the H200 chip or the Trump administration's rationale for allowing export of it to select what they claim select companies that they'll be able to ensure national security for these chips and I don't know how the hell you're going to do that when you give anything to China <laughs> haven't we all learned already so China may have just uh, basically bought and stole their way into the most powerful technologies currently in existence in computing the AI chips and the, fa and the technology is fascinating on how these things are built, too. A laser hits a molten piece of tin, and the explosion is enough that you can now etch things on there the size of DNA strands. DNA strands. It's amazing. What an amazing world we live in. Amazing and frightening at times because of the uses of these things. These AI chips will soon be as common as every other chip. Everything is going to have its own artificial intelligence and its own ability to think. It's going to be crazy. And when China gets online with this, we either have a step ahead or we're going to be multiple steps behind because their manufacturing base is going to turn these out in the millions. So I just wanted to bring this to you. China reverse engineering the most advanced chip making machine in the world. This is uh, something we got to keep an eye on. And we got to be doing this ourselves. But there you go. Thanks.